Okay, well, starting off by uh, cleaning up everything and putting a fresh coat of grease on there when I discovered this, some kind of crud on the thing, on the, uh, the back side of the table. And that's where the thing uh, slides on there, I believe, because it's nice and smooth. So I gotta clean this off because that's gonna affect how the thing slides on here. Okay, well, I got some of that crud off. Uh, all that crud off, I should say. There was, it was in like three spots. There was some here, a little bit here, and some further down here towards the end. I just used a piece of fine emery cloth here for, that's used for uh, plumbing fitting, cleaning copper fitting. So I think it's really, really fine, so it should be okay. But uh, now that it's all cleaned off, I'll uh, put the grease on and uh, get ready to put the, uh, the table back on. Okay, I'm going to remove the uh, the uh, zip ties. I took one off already. Um, just take the uh, the other one off, and uh, all right. Then we're going to place this. Got some tape on here. I'll take this tape off. Oh, that holds the, the love joy in place. Anyways. Um, okay. I'm going to put this down in here. Okay. Get in the center there. And, okay. So the next thing is to uh, put the table on. Uh, I've already greased everything up, cleaned and greased everything up, and uh, we'll just slide the table over it. I don't think it meant, oh yeah, go this way where you can see the numbers properly. Slide that over, kind of like that and slide it down far enough to be able to put the gib in. All right. Yeah, clean the gib up. Put a little grease on there, I think, just in case. I think it's going to have to slide on the gib, so a little grease on there. Uh, it's got a little dimples on here, so you know that this has to go out. You just have to make sure you got the right. Oops. Yeah, you just gotta make sure you get it in the right way there. Um, the back the screws out a little, maybe. Oh, there we go. to kind of well, fiddle it in there a little bit. Alright, and it looks like it yeah, pretty much lines up. It's going to get an equal distance there and then uh, tighten up the gip screws a little bit to make sure you're on the little dimples in there, you know, and then make sure it doesn't move. Yep, yeah, it's in there. Okay, I won't tighten up all the way just yet, but, uh, okay, it slides back and forth nicely. Okay, all right, let's see what's next. All right, well, the next step is to, uh, we actually have to take this off uh, this here and stick it uh, down on that end. That's going to have to go on the uh, the end of this. This is a spacer for that. So uh, I'm actually going to have to uh, take it off. I started tapping on it like this and I got this to come down like this but uh, the fit on the uh, 
the uh, whatever they call this the uh, retaining washer or whatever for the bearings is uh, really tight so trying to be careful not to damage any of this but uh, I still have to get this off I well I suppose I could just tap it off this way like the other one I suppose I can use a gear puller if I had one, but yep, there we go. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad, not real easy, but it's a little tight on the end there, so. Alright, so I got that out, and uh, I gotta put uh, that together with this and this. Alright. Okay, so I'm starting off by taking the nuts off the end here. And uh, sliding the bearing assembly. It's not like one bearing, you actually have like a bearing sandwich here. Uh, I didn't actually pay attention to which way it was uh, faced in there. I got two different kinds of faces on there. Uh, so I basically, to be honest, I just put it back together and see which way moved the most freely uh, which was this way uh, so all right I'm gonna slide that over there with one set and then we're gonna put the uh, the plate here and so we have uh, I guess I could use the really long screws these here long cap screws those are gonna go through here like this and that's gonna slide it's all right this way I have that part on the bottom. The all right, uh, X plus that way, minus that way. Okay, all right. So we're gonna set that or push, put that through there, and get these started. I'm not gonna tighten them down yet, but just get them on there kind of loosely. put our other the bearings on there oops a little more grease on this one okay. make sure all the any bits of metal or anything that are maybe in there or, or out of there so put that together that seems to turn really good I flip it around yeah, maybe it doesn't matter I don't know uh, anyway so we'll put this over that And then we'll put the two screws on. Just tightening this down will pull the uh, the screw this way if it's not quite on there. So, All right. 
me uh, tighten this down a little bit if I can find the right wrench here. Don't want to tighten it down so much that it doesn't turn. Just keep the bearing snug. And we'll uh, add two of that size. I guess I'll just use this for now. I'll tighten it up a little later. Get that tight and uh, there we go. I'll uh, guess I can snug this down at this time. I guess throughout the process the important thing is to keep checking that everything's moving freely as you go. Okay, so I'm gonna put the uh, the motor mounting bracket on. I'm gonna start by taking the uh, motor mounting screws off here. Let me get the key here, it might make it a little easier. Okay, all right, those four are out. I actually have this on there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the, uh, I'm gonna take the tape off first of all. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna face the set screw down. I'm just gonna leave it on there, face it down like that. Uh, that way I can just move the mill and tighten it up from underneath. Okay, well I take that back about putting this uh, the love joy coupling on there afterwards because uh, on this axis there's no access through here to be able to tighten this up. So you got to put this on first. Um, of course the thing I'm running into is the fact that uh, my shaft is a bit too long and it keeps running into this and it's not going uh, all the way in uh, the clearance on this part right here and this is just like barely spot on uh, so you know it, it fits in there but it's a really tight tolerance at first I thought that's what the problem was but uh, in fact it was actually this it's just running into this so I don't know I think I'm gonna I don't want to damage it but I think it's just rubber I'm going to try and just uh, drill out just enough in this to be able to recess that in a hair. Uh, I don't think there's any other option, so... Alright. Okay, well I uh, drilled that out a little bit so that the uh, this would recess in there a little bit like that. Uh, just needed a hair. I've never drilled rubber before, so that was kind of weird. It just kind of jiggles around. I got it the best I could in there, so I'm just going to put this back in there. Hopefully that didn't do anything weird to it. I uh, can't imagine it would, but uh, I'm just going to put this uh, rubber bushing back in there and uh, put this back on the motor. Uh, you don't want to tighten it down too far because otherwise it scrapes against here so I'm just gonna leave it out of here just enough so that it uh, doesn't hit get it tight because uh, if that comes loose then you're gonna have to take the motor off to tighten it up again because you can't be nice if they drill a hole through here. In fact, I can do that myself, I guess. Drill a hole through here, so if it comes loose, you can just rotate it, line it up, and uh, tighten it up. But as you can see, it pokes through a little bit there. Um, and if I back it out further, then I won't be able to clamp it down to here. So 
All right, let me uh, put this in here. Just gotta line the little things up. up. There we go. Okay, and the thing recessed all the way in. It wasn't going in, in all the way before, so. All right, I just need to put these screws in. And I think that's it for this access. Uh, I'll put these in and see if there's anything else. And all right, okay, I got it mounted. And uh, by turning the screw here and the end here, I've kind of moved it around, make sure it's uh, moving freely. And uh, of course, I can't move it the whole portion of it the whole way because it's kind of hard to move like this but it definitely is moving and uh, all right I think that's about it for this portion of it uh, I'll check to see but I think we're ready to hook it up to the control box and watch it move okay one last thing is uh, tightening up the gift screws um, there's a screw that sets up against the uh, the gib to hold it in place you don't want to push it too tight or or the the table won't move but you want to have it snug and then uh, tighten down the uh, the locking nut on there I've already tightened these but uh, tighten down the locking nut so it, the gib doesn't come out and I'm going to do the same thing over here on the uh, there's uh, two on this side for the uh, Y axis, so I'm gonna do that. All right. Okay, so it's all set. Um, just thought I'd go around a little bit and show you what it looks like when it's all in. And it's the end of there. <sighs> Alright. Motor up there. Okay, cool. Alright, well I'm gonna hook it up to the control box and uh, do a little test on it, make sure everything's working. Uh, probably just gonna do some jog or something uh, to test and show that it's all working and then uh, alright okay and well now that the kit is installed um, I'm going to I've already got it hooked up to the box I've got the, uh, the stepper motors plugged in here I don't have limit switches yet um, but I don't even have the mill turned on uh, we're just gonna run through the different axes and uh, see it work I actually haven't tried it all yet to see what uh, happens but uh, I've got Mach 3 booted up and uh, we're just gonna start trying to jog it um, got the power button on when you uh, when you turn this on it actually uh, runs power to the motors uh, right away um, I, I think for holding so when you're cutting it's it's got like a lock on it um, so all right well let's see what happens here I was told that sometimes you have to reverse something uh, to get the motors, to get the axes to go in the right direction, but uh, just using the arrows on my keypad here, uh, arrows uh, right and left, up and down, and page up and page down, uh, I believe does the, uh, the Z. So let's we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at that, it's moving. That's going the right way too. There we go. Cool. And uh, go up, which should be back. Uh, mm. Oh, maybe the uh, maybe the Y is backwards. But it's moving back and forth, as you can see. And let's try up and down. Ooh, there we go. 